Hello YouTubers, this is I Am Legend 1776. Here is a Taurus 24-7 Pro. And today I'm going to show you the features, controls, disassembly, and maintenance of this weapon. First to start off, we need to make sure the weapon is clear. To do that, we release the magazine, slide back the slide, and lock it in place, and check the chamber. As you can see, it is clean. The features on this weapon are a forward rail, rubberized grip, non-ambidextrous safety. It also right here has a, ch a loaded chamber indicator. Now to disassemble the Taurus 24-7 Pro, first you need to lock back the slide. Again, make sure it is clear. Rotate the retaining pin 90 degrees. Pull it retaining pin out one notch, you will feel it click. Return it to the horizontal position. Pull it out. Now you need to rock the slide forward. Pull the trigger, which will release the slide from the frame. To disassemble the slide, you need to push forward on the guide rod, and that will release it from the barrel and the slide. To remove the barrel, you need to lift up, push forward, as you can see here. Okay? Now lift it back up and remove it from the slide. Okay? Maintenance on this weapon is pretty easy. You just have to make sure that se several crucial areas are, uh, stay lubricated. Okay? Here on the slide, you see these rails here and here. You need to keep those lubricated and also your trigger, trigger assembly. You need to make sure your guide rod stays lubricated. On your barrel, you need to make sure that key areas stay lubricated, such as any areas that show wear marks, such as these rings along here, this area here, on top of the barrel here, each side, where the pin is, uh, uh, where the guide rod is retained, and in here. You also want to make sure that you keep your feed ramp here on the barrel clean. Here on the slide you need to make sure this area along this rail is clean, this area along this rail is clean, and inside your firing pin assembly. Now to reassemble the Taurus 24-7 Pro First, you need to start off with the slide. Insert the barrel nose first to where it actually sticks out a little bit. Slide it back, locks into place. Reinsert the guide rod, push it forward to where it can be retained by the barrel. When you are reattaching the slide to the frame, you need to make sure that you start off from no farther back than this point. This is where the rails start. Slide it back onto the weapon. Put it back into the locked position. Okay. Now in order to get the retaining pin back into the weapon, you need to be able to push down this little spring with the retaining pin. Okay. How you do that is by sticking in horizontally, turning it 90 degrees, push it back in the weapon till you hear that first click okay then you want to turn it back into a horizontal position press down it is now reassembled now you can rock the slide forward and do a systems check make sure everything works properly as you can see the slide lock does what it's supposed to do safety we will know that the safety will work if the trigger will not pull. Okay? Make sure your trigger works uh, properly. That would be one action. That is the other action. It is single action and dual action for the trigger. All right. Now, you make sh you need to make sure during this part you are extremely safe. Make sure you do not uh, point the weapon in any direction that may cause harm to another human being, animal, or anything else. 
Here, I have a loaded magazine. I want to make sure that my rounds chamber properly. So I insert into the weapon, lock back, okay? As you can see, there's the round. My magazine is seated fully. Rock the slide forward, okay? Now I can drop the mag, and as you can see, right along here, that's your indicator for that, the fact that there's a round in your chamber, okay? Now I'm going to rock it back, and you can see it ejected, okay? Now obviously, doing it slowly, uh, the round will not eject uh, as it normally would when you're firing it, so if you do want to check that, you can reload your mag into your weapon, rock it forward, release your mag, then just rock the slide a little harder, and as you will see, it functioned properly. If you like this video, uh, you can go ahead and subscribe or any of our other videos. Again, this is I Am Legend 1776, and I hope you all have a safe day, and uh, good luck to all patriots.